Manchester United recruitment overhaul taking shape with four new signings as Marcus Rashford responds to Eric Ten Hag decision by designing his Manchester United future. Manchester United's recruitment overhaul is already taking shape with four new signings lined up at academy level. In recent years, the club have turned their focus to signing the best domestic talent available to them as they look to get an edge on their rivals in what is a fiercely competitive market. While there has always been a clamor for homegrown talent, the demand has skyrocketed in recent years following the introduction of Brexit regulations that make it impossible to sign players aged under 18 from Europe. Another contributing factor are the strict financial fair play restraints which have led to an emphasis on identifying elite talent as early as possible in order to save money. While there has always been a clamor for homegrown talent, the demand has skyrocketed in recent years following the introduction of Brexit regulations that make it impossible to sign players aged under 18 from Europe. Another contributing factor are the strict financial fair play restraints which have led to an emphasis on identifying elite talent as early as possible in order to save money. Under these rules clubs can recruit players from anywhere in the UK at the age of 16, while there are also no restrictions on signing players above the age of 14 as long as compensation packages are paid and there is a full-time training model in place. United are always on the lookout for the best young talent available to them and they have already made positive strides forward this summer by sealing deals for three new recruits. Ipswich Town striker Silva Mexes, who is the son of Wales great Robert Earnshaw, has already posed with his contract at the club's Carrington training ground, while they have also completed the signing of James Overwy after his family left Australia for England. They have already completed the signing of Aston Villa defender Dante Plunkett after a successful trial period with the club. United are also expected to sign reading forward Cameron Mpafu, while they have been also been keeping tabs on Port Vale forward Bailey Dipa and Blackburn striker Igor Tijon. In other news, Marcus Rashford responds to Eric Ten Hag decision by deciding his Manchester United future. Marcus Rashford has been enthused by Manchester United's decision to retain Eric Ten Hag and is ready to renew his commitment to his boyhood club. Like many of his teammates, Rashford endured an underwhelming campaign as United finished a lowly eighth in the Premier League table. A miserable season did end with the silver lining of an FA Cup final triumph against Manchester City, which saw Rashford leave the pitch in tears following the post-match celebrations. Rashford's display of emotion was seen by some as a sign that he may have played his last game for the club, but according to the Sun he wants to remain at Old Trafford. With the uncertainty surrounding Ten Hag's immediate future now having been resolved, Rashford wants to return in pre-season refreshed, rejuvenated and prepared to play a leading role in the next chapter of Ten Hag's tenure. Harris St. Germain have been long-term admirers of the 26-year-old and the League One Giants are currently on the lookout for a Kylian Mbappé replacement. The French Giants will, however, be forced to look elsewhere with Rashford ready to knuckle down and leave behind him the off-field problems that undermined his form last season. Rashford is almost certain to benefit from a full summer off after he was left out of the England squad for Euro 2024. The three Lions have hardly prospered in his absence and his former teammate, Wayne Rooney, believes it was a mistake to leave the likes of Rashford and Jack Grealish out of the squad. I thought about Jack Grealish and Marcus Rashford, Rooney told the Times after watching England labor to a 1-1 draw against Denmark. They would have been good options to bring on. Sometimes even just the presence of such players, who the opposition know can hurt them, makes a difference. It was another moment where I wondered if Gareth regretted his squad's lack of experience. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.